Good morning, everyone. We want to welcome you all to Reading 365. I'm Floyd Stokes, and we are joined today by uh, Bill Z. Uh, Bill has read with the 100 men. He was one of the first readers that signed up that first year we started about 12, 13 years ago. And he's been with us ever since, uh, reading to children. And uh, he loves reading to children and it shows. Uh, I don't think he's missed one year in, in reading with us. Uh, when it's, we've grown it to the 500 men reading and Bill's been with us even then. He also reads in his church and he's a retired computer specialist with the Navy. Uh, and he's a member of Toastmasters International. We wanna welcome Bill and you can see he has a classic that he's sharing with us. Um, and we're really excited to, to hear him read and do story time with us. Thank you, Bill, and welcome. Thank you, Floyd. So as you can see, I have the classic Dr. Seuss, Green Eggs and Ham to read for you. So let's get started. Ooh, doesn't that look tasty? Green eggs and ham. By Dr. Seuss. Oops. Ah, I am Sam. And there's the other guy who we never find out his name, but we do know that I am Sam. And Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? Yeah. <laughs> I do not like them, Sam, I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. <laughs> Would you like them here or there? <clears throat> I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Mm. Huh? Would you like them in a house? Or would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. <sighs> hmm. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Fox and box. Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Mm. Would you, could you, in a car, eat them? Here they are. Here they are. I would not, could not, in a car. You may like them, you'll see. You may like them in a tree. How do you get, up, do you get a car with a tree? I would not, could not, in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. 
I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, on a train? Ah, not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not in a box. I could not, would not with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I do not, I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like green, I do not eat green eggs and ham and I do not like them, Sam I am. <clears throat> ah, say. In the dark, here in the dark. Would you, could you, in the dark? I would not, could not, in the dark. Would you, could you, in the rain? I would not, could not, in the rain, not in the dark not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. You do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Would you, could you with a goat? I would not, could not with a goat. Mm. There's your goat. Mm. Would you, could you? On a boat? I would not, could not on a boat. I will not, will not with a goat. I do not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train. Not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. Everybody. Whoop, bloop, bloop, bloop. I do not like green eggs and ham. Ah. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Mm -hmm. huh? You do not like them. So you say, try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Hmm, an idea. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You will see. They look yummy, don't they?
<clears throat> no use for the throne. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam. I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I, I, I would eat them with a goat. And, and I will eat them in the rain and in the dark and on a train and in the car and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box and I will eat them with a fox and I will eat them in a house and I will eat them with a mouse and I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam I am. The end. Awesome job, Neil. Fantastic. Thank you. So, so green eggs and ham, of course, is a is a classic. Uh, what what draws you to the the book and Dr. Seuss? The Dr. Seuss's prose is almost like poetry, and it is just fun to read. Uh, another one I have done on a regular basis is Fox and Socks, which yes. practically ties your tongue into knots. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And the other I, one I, I really it. like is, oh, the places you will go. Yes, yes. So, someone read that a few days ago right here on uh, Reading 365. Good for them. Yeah. Well, well, definitely. So, so how did you hear about our reading years ago? <laughs> well, as you, as uh, you mentioned, I'm a member of Toastmasters International. I was visiting a club that was brand new. Here, let me switch to my face rather than my book. There we are. Um, I was visiting a brand new club at the Camp Curtin School. Yes. And one of the ladies there just mentioned and sort of promoted your event, the 100 Men Reading Week. And I thought, that sounds interesting. At the end of the meeting, I got to talk to her a little more to get the details and how to contact you and so forth. And it has been a tremendous pleasure every year to be involved with your group, uh, especially the 500 men reading yes. week. Uh, that has, you know, just, that's just an amazing way to share the, the fruits of reading with, with children. I just heard a recent, uh, or well, it's an old quote, but I recently heard it of the from the poet Emily Dickinson, mm. and I'm only going to paraphrase it: that books are like a boat that you can take anywhere in the world and be there without having to leave your own chair. Yeah, yeah, definitely is is definitely powerful. You can get wrapped into a, wrapped up into a book. And, and you, you can share that excitement with, with children. And I'm sure they, they feel that from you, uh, when you when you go into the classroom or wherever, where have you and share books with them. So, so thank you, thank you. My, my great pleasure, thank you. And, and I think you, you are you know, one of those unique guys that did start at, you know, from the beginning uh, with the 100 and you've seen the growth to the 500. And um, can you talk a little bit about the impact of that and what you've seen over the years? Um, I've met a, a, an amazing number of interesting people. Uh, 
that were in the professions, uh, you know, uh, doctors, lawyers, et cetera, as well as um, more workaday people, uh, yeah. other computer specialists I've met. Yeah. Uh, I've met uh, uh, plumbers and, and contractors, you know, house, yeah. house building contractors. Uh, it was always interesting, especially at the little luncheon afterwards, to yeah. sit down and, and share our experiences. Uh, several of the luncheons, I was able to sit down to a, one of the local uh, policemen who really enjoyed uh, being involved in this, in, in your wonderful effort. Yeah. Um, and I've pleased to have had the occasion to recruit at least two other people from my uh, Toastmaster circles who were, you know, took it upon themselves at, at my recommendation to sign up and their feedback later was uh, wonderful because they really enjoyed uh, the process. Uh, one fellow had take, got, done a, an excerpt of a uh, baseball biography. I can't remember for sure, but I think it may have been Babe Ruth. Mm -hmm. And one of the, now he was talking to older uh, kids. It was a uh, definitely a chapter book, not a picture book. And one of the young ladies in the in the class talk, talked to him afterwards how interesting that sounded. And he was able to loan her the book and she finished reading it herself and gave oh, what, and when she gave it back, she made it clear that she had really enjoyed the experience and was wow. going to do more of this kind of thing. Beautiful. That's, that's fantastic. And that's, that's the goal to turn yes. that, that light switch on and to give them that spark, that interest in reading and books and education. So, so thank <laughs> you for sharing that, Bill. Thank you. <clears throat> You're most welcome. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we wanna again, thank Bill for joining us. Wanna thank you for joining us too, uh, as a part of Reading 365 every single day at 11 a.m. You can tune in and listen to stories. I wanna thank you all and have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.